a midwife, pregnant women and children are always my top priority. If you have a sister or you yourself or you have a friend who is pregnant, you need to listen to this video very keenly. Most especially for those of us who are in Nigeria, we already know that Nigeria is a zone that we know that has malaria as an endemic disease. By endemic, I mean that malaria is always present. And one of the things we do for pregnant women when they come to the clinic is to give them sulfadosine perimetamine, which we all know as Fancida. What does this drug do? We use this drug as intermittent preventive treatment for malaria. For those of us who are in Nigeria, we usually give Fancida to pregnant women to help them prevent them coming down with malaria infection. I've said before that Fancida is also called sulfadosine Parimetamine. It is an anti-malaria that is given to women. Usually the best time to begin this drug is after second trimester or if a woman has reached the 16th week of her pregnancy. This is thought to help prevent the woman from having a teratogenic effect from that drug. Teratogenic effect, I mean that drug can also cause delay or deformity or defect on the fetus that is growing so we we try to delay giving this drug up to the sixteenth week or when a woman has reached her second trimester first it helps to clear existing malaria parasites in the system of that woman and it helps new infection from developing and this one that is giving three doses at once it contains sulfadosine which is 500 milligram and parimetamine which is 25 milligram so the dose is 525 milligram so the woman so takes three tablets at once which is a single dose and the woman can keep taking this drug at every time she goes for antenatal visit provided that she's given a four weeks gap in between from the first dose to the second dose aside from that that is given to women they are also giving folic acid supplementation now this folic acid helps the developing fetus it helps to prevent the baby from coming down with a neural tube defect this neural tube defect occurs on the spine or on the vertebral column of the developing fetus. Now, Fancida and folic acid should not be taken together. This is what most women don't know. When you give them Fancida and folic acid, they take it together. This is because folic acid counteracts the effect of Fancida or sulfadosine perimetamine. It lowers the effect of the drug, thereby counteracting the effect and not making Fancida to work effectively. Now, what should a pregnant woman do? A woman who has gone to the clinic and she's given folic acid to take and also Fancida. Usually, the folic acid supplementation that a woman can take with Fancida is just 0.4 milligram. That is 400 microgram of folic acid. If you have a drug of folic acid that is 400 microgram, you can actually take it with Fancida because the counter effect will be so minimal. But the problem is that here in Nigeria, most of the folic acid we have is 5 milligram. This is 5,000 micrograms. So it is actually high. So what we advise women to do is that when you are taking your fancy down, when you are being given fancy down to take, suspend the intake of folic acid for a period of two weeks, that is 14 days. When you have taken your, fa your fancy down, after 14 days, you can, resume, you can resume taking your folic acid. This is to prevent the counter effect folic acid we have on fancy down. Now, I've said, take your folic acid. If it is 0.4 milligram, it is a low dose. You can take it with your sulfadosine perimetamine, which is fancy that. But if your folic acid is 5 milligram, this is 5,000 microgram, then suspend it. Take your fancy that. After 14 we after 14 days rather of taking your fancy that, you can now begin your folic acid. This is to prevent the counter effect folic acid as on fancy that. I am still Sister Augusta. I am still your nurse midwife. Keep following us on Body Gist for more healthy gist.